before starting the myomectomy procedure, um, the surgeon has to pull up the bowel with uh, a sterile pack so that the bowels, the, the bowels will be retracted upwards and then to facilitate uh, a proper and an easier uh, 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 visualization of the surgical field. After proper preparation of retraction of the bowel and then insertion of better uh, self-retaining retractor to widen the surgical uh, field, then the next step is uh, to apply a tourniquet because uh, the most important step in myonectomy is to conduct the surgery uh, with less blood loss. So hemostasis or decreasing hemorrhage is a very important step in myonectomy because myonectomy is going to be a blind enucleation unless you conduct it in, in, uh, in a way which decreases blood loss, uh, the intraoperative blood loss might be very high. So to do that, uh, there are different techniques, but the common method that we use is to apply a tourniquet, which is uh, commonly using a number eight catheter. So we open a window on both sides of the lateral aspect of the uterus and then tightly uh, uh, closing or suturing uh, uh, or, or wrapping the, the catheter. So that catheter is going to overlook, uh, occlude the uterine arteries in both sides and then it will decrease the blood flow to the upper part of the uterus and thereby decrease the blood loss. So after applying a tonic, a tight tonic on the lower aspect of the uterus, uh, sometimes depending on the need of or the big the size of the myoma, a tonic also on the ovarian vessels might be needed. But usually tonic applied on the on the uterine vessels is uh, usually sufficient. Uh, currently also one can apply or inject a vasopressin which is a kind of drug which will decrease the blood loss to the uh, to the to the myoma to the myoma bit and then can conduct the surgery.